Hey guys, it's the Vore from Tennis House. Today, three common mistakes on the two-hander, on the backhand side. So, I'm going to show you three things that people do wrong, and we're going to fix it. And if you like what we do, take a moment, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and let's get straight to it. All right, guys, it. so the first mistake on a two-hander backhand recreational players do is when they turn, they're squeezing the racket too tight. So when you squeeze the racket too tight and you're in the turn phase right here, you cannot get the racket underneath the ball good because you're so tight here that you can't get the racket down here. So you can't get into the lag phase. So when you're here, what do those players do is they're kind of pushing their back end. So Erotic used to push the back end. You know, Kyrgios used to do that. He puts a little bit more, like gets a little bit better under the ball. So that's one common thing. If you squeeze too tight here, you kind of have that pusher back end. So if you want to have like a crispy fast backhand, you need to make sure that you get under the ball here and that the butt cap points forward when you're ready to go and pull. Very important guys. And yeah, so that was number one. The second common mistake I see on a two-handed backhand is when the players, they do not follow through enough. So they turn here, let's say they do everything correct, they hit the ball and now the elbow goes in here and they tell me, oh yeah, I followed Coach DeVore, I followed through, no you didn't. So when you're here, drop the racket head, go through it, and then they have the elbow tucked into the body. It is very important when you go through the ball that you follow through and then you go all the way up here. So in the end, when you're up here, that the bottom points forward again and you could put a little volleyball under the armpits. So that's another you know, common mistake. Um, I see on the recreational, right guys? So this is the third common mistake I see on a two and a back end. So for this one, you have to watch closely on my grip. So how do we hold the record, right? You want to have a continental or eastern at least on the, on the uh, bottom hand, and you want to get an eastern grip on the, on the top hand. So a lot of players, unfortunately, hold the record like, like this, okay? So they're blocking themselves on the back end here, and then they hit, and then you, you can't get under the ball, you can't do nothing, it's, it's a death grip. So with this grip, that you see this a lot, they're just blocking the... You need to make sure that the bottom hand is continental or eastern. And just a quick, quick tip, guys, if you beginner or intermediate player, like let's say beginner more obviously, you, you know, just put the racket under the armpits and take them out like a sword so you have something in between Eastern and Continental there. That's very important. And then you have you can maneuver the ball when you hit it right here, right? And you don't have right, a depth. Here's here. the bonus one I'm gonna give you today. It all starts at the beginning. So a lot of players have the elbows tucked in both of them when they hit, like this. But why is that? Because at the beginning they're waiting for that ball already like this. So if you wait like this at the beginning, what you're going to do? You're going to turn around here and you're going to have your elbows tucked in. You can't have a follow through and a good take back. So it all starts at the beginning. Have the arms out. If you have a spacing, a good spacing here, now when the ball right when before they strike, you split step and now the upper body rotates. See that? And you have that spacing here. The upper body rotates and now you're good here. So you don't have the elbows in and you go and you want to hit everything from here. You want to be here to hit. You don't want to be here. And if you look at it, like if you take the bottom hand away, you would hit a left handed forehand. Right now you see that even better because you want to stay away here. You want to hit from out there. You don't want to hit here. So that's another great tip, guys. If you want to improve your back end, there's another tip for you guys. Take the bottom hand off, hold a two-handed grip like this. Get on a ball machine, guys. Take the bottom hand off and hit left-handed forehands. That's why Rafa's backhand is so unbelievable. Like he, he does so many things with the right hand and he can hit, basically he hits like a right-handed uh, forehand on, on that side. So, so have the top hand out there like you hold a two-handed backhand grip, take the bottom hand off and go and practice that swing because that as you see when you really follow through it's going to help your two-handed back end as well when you put the other hand on there so that was a few things on the back end this is more for beginner players slowly getting into intermediate players very important tips on the back end 
I hope you guys enjoyed and as always please subscribe turn the notification bell on because we need to grow that channel guys I appreciate you guys thank you and have a great night